Robert Osborne. This week's TCM Import is a landmark film in the career of the celebrated Swedish movie master Ingmar Bergman. Our next film is not only one of Bergman's most likable movies, it's also one of his most accessible. It's Fanny and Alexander from 1982, the last feature film Bergman made which was released theatrically. And I emphasize theatrically because although Bergman did announce his intent to retire altogether just after this movie came out, he didn't remain idle for long. He came out of retirement actually several times after this, each return making films for Swedish television. The last movie was a 2003 TV movie called Saraband, which starred one of his regulars, Lee Ullman. Now, the main reason Bergman gave for not making any more theatrical movies, the early 80s, was the strain it put on him. He'd been writing and directing films for 30 years. At age 64, he said it was getting to be too much for him physically. That's why he had every intention of our next movie being his last one. And because of that decision, it's understandable. It's one of the most personal films he ever made. Fanny and Alexander is an episodic story of two siblings whose lives are turned upside down when their father dies and their mother remarries. Now, it's not an autobiographical film. Bergman was very clear about that, but many of the things that happened in the film were very much lifted right out of Bergman's own childhood. So have a look, wonderful movie from 1982, released here in the US one year later. It's a true gem, photographed in color by Sven Nyquist. Here's Ingmar Bergman's Fanny and Alexander.